can't even believe how long my hair looks. Ah! Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a video that I've never done um, and that is talking you guys through like skincare beauty items that you just like do not need. Like do not buy these, they're so horrible. I shouldn't say so horrible, but they just didn't work for me and if you have like similar skin type to me or some of these products are even like really hyped up. So if you don't wanna waste your money, on those hyped up trendy products then watch this video so you can save some money and save yourself some like reactions and just crazy stuff because it all went down when I tried out these products if you guys are new don't forget to pause the video and subscribe if you aren't we are so close working towards a thousand subscribers and I would really appreciate your support and if you enjoy the video give it a thumbs up and let's hop right in so as I mentioned these are products that I just do not like um, and yeah, I, nothing like against them. They just didn't work for me. They didn't work for my skin or it was just like didn't work at all. Um, and so I thought that this would be interesting because I really love watching these videos. And I do something similar with my empties videos twice a year. I will link those above for you if you want to check them out. Um, but I don't really go, it's not like specifically that I wouldn't repurchase. Um, but these are just like, I couldn't even finish them. They're not empty. And I like to use up all of my products. Um, so that's why I thought I would share them with you today. Maybe I'll just dive in. As I mentioned, they are mostly skincare things, but I thought that I would just jump into the body first. And this is the Schmitz Coconut Pineapple Sensitive Skin Formula Natural Deodorant. And this was absolutely horrifying. This was a new scent that I've never seen before. And I've tried Schmitz, that's like a hard word for me. I tried Schmitz once before um, because I do love to find like natural clean deodorants, but this one has always without fail made me like break out kind of like irritates my underarms which is not fun and you don't know like how long or how much you move this area until it's like sore and red and not feeling great um so it always makes me have a rash and then this scent i don't know if it's mi like mixed with my like natural body odor but i just felt like i smelled horrible all day long like I would shower put this on and then I'd walk out the door and I just feel like I could smell myself and like god forbid if I were to sweat it would just it was horrible so there oh there is still a nice decent amount and I feel so horrible throwing out products but I am someone like if I do not feel my best I cannot perform my best or be my best and nobody wants to smell so I would not waste anyway this is the worst ever just don't do it don't do it oh sebastian is that you oh maybe not um so sticking with some body this is like a hair care product and then the rest will be skincare um which is so sad that i have this in my dislikes because i love this brand this is the love beauty and planet mimosa and macadamia nuts uh what is this like a hair oil just like a hair oil and this is horrible as you can see it's still so brand new and full um, it's like really dirty because I kept it in the back of my like cabinet oh my god you're actually scaring me so bad hi baby hi baby so I knew I felt your pee pee this is really dirty and dusty I kept it in the back of my cabinets just in case um, I love to use a hair oil I use it Every time like, I style my hair, it just gives my hair a lot more moisture to the ends. Um, and so I'm always looking for new ones and I love experimenting with them. And this one I thought I was gonna love because again, I love this brand, but it's so bad. It makes your hair feel so greasy and just like very heavy and not, I don't know, not silky, not smooth, not hydrated, nothing like just that greasy look and it just stays that way. It doesn't kind of dry out. Um, it's just very difficult to work with so I found it horrible um, it smells amazing and I loved the smell but it just the formulation is not my favorite uh, so I would definitely give this one a huge thumbs down not having it moving into skincare now because um, I have a lot of skincare just because like everybody else it's fun to try new products and what everyone's loving and you want to get on that and see if it works for you I have the original um, scent of this 
toner, um, this witch hazel toner, and then I used that up and I absolutely loved it. The original is so good, it's so gentle, it's a perfect easy toner um, and a great affordable price. And then I went to go pick up a little travel size because I was going to go on a trip and I accidentally picked up the cucumber scent. So this is what... So I accidentally picked up the cucumber scent and I don't know if it's the cucumber in it or what it, I've used it up because it is such a little bottle and I needed a toner and I thought I can get through this, it's not so bad. Um, but it just made my skin feel super, super dried out. Even though this is alcohol free, I don't know if my skin wasn't loving the cucumber um, or what, I don't know, but it was very red and very irritated. Um, and yeah, I didn't like it. So I started using this like every single day. And then when I started noticing how red and irritated, then I would just do it every other day and it seemed to be okay. Um, but I like using a toner every day to like help my other skincare sink into my skin. So I needed one that was going to work and this one just didn't do it for me. Let me know if you guys have tried any of the scents. I think they have a couple, I think maybe they have a lavender as well, I don't know. Let me know if you've tried the scents and how you guys got on with them because for me it just didn't work out. My next product is actually a cleansing balm. I love to do a double cleanse at night, especially when I wear makeup, it just helps break off my skin. And same with toners, it's fun to like experiment with like balms and stuff like that to kind of take away your makeup to find, I don't know, I just feel like it's an easy skincare that doesn't sit on your skin, you are washing it away. So it's easier to play around with those ones. So I decided to pick up the Soap and Glory Peaches and Clean Deep Cleansing Milk. And this is supposed to melt away your makeup. And I, as you guys can see, I've used up like pretty much half of it. And I can't decide how I feel about it. I don't feel that it really like melts away my makeup. I feel like it helps take it off, which is why I continue to kind of go back to it every once in a while. If I'm ever out of like my favorite first cleanse, if that's completely out and I haven't repurchased anything, I will go back to this because it doesn't irritate my skin. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't do anything like that. Um, but it just doesn't work and I just don't really like that. So I don't think this is worth it at all. Um, there are so many great ones on the market. You could use a micellar water, you could use the Clinique Balm, um, you could use lots of different ones. There's so many out there. Um, but this one's just not worth it and I would definitely skip out on it. But I still have it for like emergencies, which I think is something that's important to have in your skincare collection. Like if something isn't like horribly bad for your skin, you can always just leave it kind of below your counter just in case those emergencies come Ooh! just in case those emergencies come up and you need something to take your makeup off. Um, that's why I've kind of kept this around, but I wouldn't repurchase it and I don't use it every day. Um, so yeah, I just haven't found I haven't really found much left with soap and glory, so let me know how you guys feel about it. My next two um, skincare items are actually from Korean skincare brand. I believe they both are. Um, and that's like my new favorite thing is to dip into Korean skincare. I love it. I love watching the videos about it. I love the products, everything. So I thought that I was going to be obsessed with this one. And this is the Skin Food Egg White um, Pore Foam. And this is just supposed to be a deep cleanser, um, foaming cleanser to purify your pores. I know Korean skincare, um, they're big on foam cleansers, which normally don't really irritate me too much because I'm pretty oily, so I don't really get dried out. But that being said, this stripped my skin horribly. Um, it's very foamy and that's kind of like a fun sensation to have every once in a while. Um, but using this like every single day, I like I was just stripping my skin and I was starting to break out and getting dry. It was just, it was not great. Um, so I had to say no to this. It's not worth it. It just strips my skin and it's, I don't like it. So not my favorite, but I know that they have some other great products that I want to try. I just have to stay away from the foam. And then I believe this is a Korean skincare brand as well, but if not, let me know. And this is the Too Cool for School Pumpkin Sleeping Pack. This is like a sleeping mask. Um, so this has like an enzyme peeling pumpkin-y effect, um, which I thought I was going to love. I don't know. I saw everyone using these sheet masks. I don't know if maybe those are different. This was just not great. I felt like when I'd wake up in the morning, my skin was like super red, even though I know that it is like an enzyme peeling mask, but I don't think it's like a high concentrate of that. 
Um, and it's a sleeping mask, so it's very gentle. You can have it on for a long time. Um, you do have to be careful with those enzymes, but I knew that this one obviously is a sleeping one. So I wasn't too worried about it, but I would wake up in the morning and just have such a red face that I never wanted to put this mask on again. I like my masks to be very calming and soothing. I sometimes will do a clarifying one. Um, this is obviously clarifying because it is a peeling mask, but yeah, it just wasn't my favorite and it made my skin a little red and irritated. So I stopped using it, which is a bummer because I really liked the packaging and I saw everyone using the sheet masks, so I thought I was gonna love it, but I definitely didn't and would not repurchase. Keeping with the um, masks theme, this is the Freeman Purifying Avocado and Oatmeal Clay Mask. And I don't know about you guys, but I see these all over Instagram. They'll do like the cute pictures where they're all the colors. And so I really wanted to pick one up and I don't know if I just didn't do pick up the great one, um, but this purifying mask, not great. It makes, it's like a tightening mask, which those ones I should have known are not my favorite. Clay masks are just not for me. I don't like my face to be tightened and like feel like it's stretching. I want a very cooling, hydrating effect. Um, so I should have known from the formulation that I wasn't going to love it, but, and yeah, I just didn't feel like it was clearing out my skin. I used it probably six, maybe seven times, and I just never saw a difference in my skin, and so yeah, I just didn't find that they were worth it. They are fun. I see them all over Pinterest, and I want to, like, collect them all, but definitely not worth the money, so I wouldn't do it. And then for my last products, I thought it would be fun to include some stuff that I've gotten for Sebastian because I do love to buy him products and I want him to feel pampered and you know all the things and I also like to find him very clean ingredients because that's like my baby's skin and I I don't know it's very fun to like play around with his skincare as well and so I got these for him in his stocking for Christmas and they have just been the biggest flump I don't know if he just like forgets to use them but I have also just known that he doesn't like the way that they feel and work so they're both by the brand um, Bulldog and it is a skincare for men and it's natural so I have two products from them. This is the just um, facial moisturizer, and then I got him the beard shampoo and conditioner. And he doesn't like either of them. Um, I just think that he doesn't like the way that they smell. They do have a very, yeah, they do have a very interesting smell where it's, when it's something on your face, if it's very fragrant, that's hard to stand. Um, so I totally get that. So yeah, he wasn't a fan of these. So if you like buying products for your man or if your man watching this um i wouldn't stay away from this he just hasn't used it and i think it's just goes to show i don't think it's because he doesn't he's like lazy and forgets i just don't think it's great products um they weren't super expensive uh, so that was a plus but yeah just kind of nice to know what to stay away with i would love to know what you guys like to buy for your men uh because it's fun i like buying things for him and i want him to build up a little skincare routine himself so I would share those. Okay, so those are the nine skincare and beauty products that I think that you guys definitely do not need to spend your money on. They personally didn't work for me. Maybe they'd work for you. If you've tried any of these and you love them, let me know down below because that will make me feel bad that I don't love them and it'll make me want to try it. I'd just love to hear everyone else's opinions about these, so let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!